Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. So I can see already some people here. Good evening, David. Good evening, Henry. Good evening, Noen. Andre. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. All right. Good oh, evening. God, what a surprise, Mr. Pardo. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Okay, teacher. How, how about you? Fine teacher, a little bit tired, but I'm pressing in your class. Thank you, thank you for being here on time. Truly really appreciate it. I'm happy to see you again. Thank you teacher. All right. So Mr. Nunez, how are you? I'm fine teacher. Great, 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 excellent. David, hello, how are you? Hello teacher, I'm fine. Great, excellent. Good, 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 good to know. Good to know. All right. So let's see who else is here. We have Mr. Galdames. Hello. Oh, it's still loading. Yes. We have no M. So let's see here. Good evening. Good evening, Miguel Angel. How are you? All good. Okay, great, great, excellent. Thank you. All right. So let's see here. We're just going to wait for um, some other members all right, so of this group so we can continue with the class. But let me just say good evening to everybody and welcome, 
right? So we're gonna wait just for one more minute, okay? Okay. Okay, excellent. So I can see more people joining the class. That's actually good. Okay, so let's see here. Great, excellent. So, well, we can start right now. So, officially, good evening. I'm so happy to have you here. All right. So, um, I'm excited of like starting a new group with you tonight, right? I see here some familiar faces like Mr. Pardo that I have seen him in a previous class before, and I guess we have some other, um, some other classmates that were my students before. So, I'm glad to have you back here. All right, so, well, first of all, let me um, say good evening to the guys who were not here before. So, for example, Mr. Carlos Rivas, good evening. David Custodio, good evening. Evelyn Jamilet, Maritza Elizabeth, um, Reina Elizabeth, hello. Sonia Esmeralda and Ursula Esteli. All right, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. All right, so, well, for the ones who um, don't know me, all right, so my name is Juan Jose. You can call me teacher or you can call me JJ, right, which is like my nickname, all right, so that I'm fine with any of those names, all right. So I'm going to be your teacher for the next five weeks, all right, so we can actually learn a lot of things, right. So this program, people, for the intermediate level has a lot of information, and we are going to um, learn a lot of things. Please remember, right? So if you have any questions on the topics or any information that I am explaining, please let me know so it stop me so I can explain again or I can repeat, etc. right? And if you think that I am speaking too fast, let me know so I can repeat myself, okay? So, well, let's just start right now here with some um, information about this one, right? So let's see what is gonna be today's agenda. So first of all, you know, welcome you to this uh, class again, right? As we were just doing this before, we will talk about the tasks and evaluations, about the tendons, all right? Uh, about like the sound, all right? And, the active participation, right? So let's see what is this is about. So remember, this couple of minutes, we are going to see like, you know, the general information about the program. Vamos a hablar un poco de las generalidades um, that the program has, so we can check it out here, all right? So let's see here. In this one, uh, homework and evaluations, this is in Spanish, right? So we can actually talk about that. And it's going to be clear, right? So this is not new for you because this is very similar to what we did in the basic levels, all right? So, but you need to be, um, you know, um, aware of this one, right? So remember that it's necessary uh, to have the 80% um, as an average in the homework and evaluations to approve the level, right? So this is important, right? Remember, siempre hacer su tarea y las evaluaciones cuando correspondan. Son dos evaluaciones, una mitad del curso, and the next one at the end. All right, so las tareas se encuentran en the platform just after every class. All right, so you can see that. 
Eh, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos. You know, it has to be complete before um, Tuesday is this midnight. So this is like sent to INSA 4, right? Weekly. Así que no se atrase, please, 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 please. Como se puede ver, hasta el hasta martes de la next week to send it. So you can have, like, for example, the weekend to complete the homework, right? Or the assignments. Um, y también tiene acceso al manual desde la plataforma and we don't use any other uh, material, right? So sometimes we get some uh, additional material, but something that we can use as well um, that is going to help us with the topic, right? Eh, preguntas hasta el momento de lo que han podido leer en la primera diapositiva. Any questions? It's in Spanish, right? So it has to be clear. No, teacher. Thank you. No, teacher. All right, excellent. So, eh, well, let's just continue with the next one right here. So, which is going to be this. Aha, uh -huh. attendance. Listen. La asistencia, it's non negotiable, no es negociable, right? So you have to be uh, connected every single night from 8 to 10, right? Which is super important right here. And I want to highlight this, people, right? It's this one right here. So look, 100% de clases, right? Por ahí había alguien que ya decía oyente automáticamente al entrar a. a a la clase, right? Which is fine. That person, at least, he's listening. Y al completar también los, um, uh, los, los uh, tests and the homework, that person is also continuing with this. También, por favor, tiene que cumplir con los 120 minutos de clase, which means like the two hours. That's mandatory, right? No solamente se conecten y, uh, uh, you know, pasamos lista y bye-bye, right? No. It has to be like the, the two hours. So please remember that, which is important. Porque a la hora de enviar el reporte, pues ahí van también esos detalles, right? Así que, eh, please check, eh, take that into consideration. 100% de clases and 120 minutes per class. Uh, of course, there are some emergencies, right? But also, I want you to like pay attention right here. When it says here that no hay permisos disponibles, all right? Which means just like if you have an emergency, se puede conectar siempre en calidad de oyente, as you can see there. All right. Um, so let's see, what else? Well, normally it's like we can actually take attendance eh, la primera vez después de 20 minutes. En ocasiones se tomará twice, but most likely, esta es la que vamos a, a tomar siempre. Right? La primera 20 minutos o 30, o 30 minutos ahí. All right. So. Luego, este, one second here. Excuse me, I was sneezing. All right. So every time you have, uh, you know, the teacher says uh, fulanito, the participant has to say, in English, of course, present, right? It's mandatory, right? So, for example, if I said Evelyn, Evelyn Molina, Evelyn has to say present. All right, David Emanuel, present, for example. Okay, is that clear? Yes. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Thank you very much. All right. So, uh, and to have the camera on, all right? So it's mandatory, right? So I can see only a few cameras on right now. So for example, this one right here. Okay, one second. Excuse me. Okay, very good. So I almost, how many cameras I have right now? So I have Guillermo, I have Wilfredo Antonio, which I like that background. Super nice, Wilfredo, I like it. All right, so Jill, very good. David, Noé, Maritza, Mr. Pardo, that now you open the camera. I remember before you didn't do that. All right, so uh, Daniel... Nuria, Sonia, Evelyn, Ursula, and Edwin Esau, all right? So, but that has to be every class, right? So, okay, keep that in mind, like everybody opening the camera. Okay, great, great, great. So, let's see what's going to be next right here. So, let's continue. Well, talking about Zoom, right? So, everybody on mute until I ask a question, right, to avoid any 
any weird sound or any comment, remember that you are at home, right? So, and sometimes your family, it's like having dinner, making comments, and we don't want to hear like, oh, we don't want to listen to something that is not appropriate, right? So, so let's just uh, try to be on mute, unless you have a question, of course, or I ask you a question so you actually um remove it, right? So, camera on. I'm going to hide like this one again, on, 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 on. Very good. All right. So, and then eh, we're going to use a lot the breakup rooms. Eh, ¿Están familiarizados con los breakup rooms, people? <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Great. Excellent. So that's actually, you know, something that we are going to use every day here. Um. Well, actually, in a couple of minutes, we are going to like start with that one. And then, of course, remember that you have the ask for help button, right? And overall, respect, all right? So to the class, to the teacher, to your classmates, and to their participations, right? So questions at the moment? No, no question. question. Okay, thank you very much, right? So I have been talking already here, and I can see a lot of people now have joined the class and I would like to like um you know know a little bit about you right so I'm I, I'm unable to see your names here but I would like to know a little bit more about you like for example where do you work what do you do or any information that you want to share with me such as like hobbies or your goals for example for the next year or before the end of the year why not right so let's see who wants to start talking about him or herself. Any volunteer? Yes. Hello, hello. If no, I go with, who's that one? Podría, podría repetir, por favor, lo que dijo? Es que no escuché yeah, bien. Sure. I would like to know about you, all right? So me gustaría escuchar un poco de ustedes. So this is a short introduction, right? Okay, uh, I am Andre Pardo Camacho. I am from Colombia. I live in El Salvador. I work for no, I work since twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, but. I don't know. I work uh, Sunday to Friday. Okay. Very good. Remember, from Sunday to Friday, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Mr. Porter. Really appreciate it. Any volunteer? Thank you, Miguel. Please go ahead. Thank you, teacher. Uh, nice to meet you, everyone. My name is Miguel Santos. I like uh, my name. Uh, Miguel, uh, I'm supervisor in my work. Uh, my work is, um, is in San Salvador, mm -hmm. but um, I work uh, in home office. That's yes. Uh, so you work from home. Yes, home office every day. <laughs> nice. um, yes, um, I like sleep. <laughs> sleep very much. <laughs> um, uh, often, uh, my work or my job. Okay. Um, my uh, birthday is in February. 18 February. Okay. Next year. Um, mm -hmm. Only that. That's is... it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Miguel Angel. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your information. All right. Any other volunteer? Thank I... you, Noe, right? Um, my name is Nuria Aviles. Okay. okay, okay. I um, work in Newtel. Uh huh. Um, I am the boss of customer service. Mm -hmm. um, 
my my birthday is in March. In March, all right. Excellent, thank you. Now I can see here it's, thank you, Nuria, nice to meet you. Uh, let me listen to you, Noe, please, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Uh, my name is Gustavo Cardona. Uh -huh. uh, I, I live in San Miguel. Oh. Uh, uh, my, my hobby is play soccer. Uh -huh. uh, I like studying English. Uh, I, I am uh, 33 years old. Um, that's it yeah all right no problem thank you thank you all right so oh my god what you said san miguel this is like very hot right yes yes oh my god all right thank you Noe. nice to meet you all right a uh, next volunteer please hello Okay, Noé, choose the next person. Hola, hola, teacher. Select the next person. Ah, oh, okay. Daniel Ernesto. Thank you. Mr. Okay. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, my name is Daniel, and uh, I live in San Miguel. I work in Almacenes B3. Um, Gustavo Cardona is my, my partner. And the Somos, we oui. are, we are, um, in, in the installadores. Installers? Maintenance. Installers? Maintenance. Mm -hmm. The air conditioners and... Right. Only, only this. That's it. No problem. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. So who is the next one? Next one, volunteer. Let me see here the cameras. Mm -hmm. So let me see. Mr. Luna. Hello. Hello, Mr. Flamenco. How are you? Good, and you? Okay. Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Wilfredo. I prefer people call me Will. And, okay. Uh, nowadays, I'm working at Fruit of the Loom. I am the la, uh, Inkpad Lab technician, and I have been working there for 12 years. So... Uh, in that moment, I am thinking in working another place, but it's not uh, sure for the moment. I am just waiting, but I'm happy to to have been working at Fruit of the Loom. It's a good a good business, mm -hmm. and my favorite hobby is uh, my favorite hobby is to watch anime and sometimes. Play to play the guitar or watch a movie. All right, thank you, uh, Will. So welcome to our class. All right, nice to meet you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. All too. right. By the way, people, if you see me that I am looking in this direction and this direction is because I have double screen. Right, tengo doble pantalla. Entonces tengo la cámara here, right here, but I have the big screen here. So sometimes I'm like, like this. Okay. All right, excellent. So yes, Ursula, I saw you raise your hand. Hello. Yes, hello. Good evening. Good How evening. are you? Good, and you? <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. Um, my name is Ursula Estelina. Um, I am married. I have two daughters, and I work at PBS El Salvador and the Department of Mission. And one of my goal is. Uh, learn English as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you and good fluency. Nice to meet you. All right, so next one. 
So I can see, let me see. I'm going to choose someone with the camera on. Jill, Jill Menhivar. Hello, Jill. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. So tell me about yourself. Okay. Uh, my name is Jill Menhivar and I work at um, Indy Motos uh, with mot motorcycles. Um, I like uh, cooking. And my work is, how do you say it? Seller. Seller. Yes. Thanks. All right, great, excellent. Jill, do you have a motorcycle? Nice. All yes. Right. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you. So let's see. Uh, David, hello, David. David Custodio. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me about you, please. Uh, hello, my name is David Emanuel Custodio. I live in San Martin. Uh, I work in Integral Bank. I am I am tester in the department tester of uh, operation. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like English and I hope to learn more in this course. Uh, I feel sore in my throat that why why it is like difficult for me to speak in this moment. Uh, but here we are. All right, excellent. Thank you very much for sharing your information, right? So nice to meet you. All right, excellent. So let's see who's next. Um, let's see, Nuria. Hello, Nuria. Hello, teacher. Good evening. So please tell us about yourself. Mm, I am... Ya lo hice? No. Oh, you did it? Yes. <laughs> oh, you were the first one, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So let's see. But thank you. Oh, you know what, Nuria? Give me a hand and select the next person. Okay. Uh, Andrew Pardo? He, he did it before you, I guess. He finished. Another. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Edwin Esaú Galdames. Thank you. Hello, Edwin. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Tell us about yourself, please. Okay, nice to meet you, classmate, uh, teacher. Uh, my name is Edwin Galdames. I live in Santa Ana City. Oh. In World Almacenes Tropigas. Mm. Um, <laughs> my, uh, my life. And watching TV series. Mm -hmm. And that's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So let's see. Uh, Sonia. Sonia Esmeralda. All right. Hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, I am Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio Orellana. I like Esme. Oh, me gusta que me digan Esme. Mm -hmm. I live in San Juan Opico. Mm -hmm. I work in in Hancock Beckstone. It is a financier. I am is the moment study English. Um, I am thirty years old. Uh, it's all right. That's it. All right. No problem. Thank you very much. All right. So let's see. Oh, Reina Garcia, hello. Hello, good evening. My name is Reina. I am 25 years old. I live in Chicago, Barcelona, I work 
in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. And also, I like to listen to music. Mm -hmm. and, and also, in my free time, I like to watch movies. Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you, Reina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. All right. Excellent. So let's see who is going to be the next one. Well, I guess we are done, right? So, yes. Mr. Abrego, Guillermo, did you participate already? No, teacher. All right. Tell us about you, please. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Guillermo Abrego. I am 25 years old. I live in Santa Tecla City with my mom and my brother. And I work in Avianca. I like to play video games and football with my friends. And in my free time, I like to go to watch movies. All right, great, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, nice to meet you, everybody. Also, I guess, am I missing someone? Que me hace falta, veamos. Any volunteer? Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, Henry. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay. I am Giovanni. I am Marvel. I work in ONG Enlace. I generally I generally work with churches and community leaders. I am an area coordinator. I I I live in El Congo, Santa Ana. My job is playing basketball with my daughter. All right, excellent. Thank you. We have a basketball player here in the class. So thank you very much. All right, so let's see. We are going to like start right now with the class. So si me hace falta alguien, I'm sorry. So we can have the conversation later, all right? So let's see what's next right here. Okay, excellent. So, oops, that's another one right here. This one, this is the one. One second. This is the one. All right. Let's talk about restaurants, 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 restaurants. All right. So, I love going to the restaurants. I have my favorite restaurant. And um, talking about restaurants is actually something that I really like because I love food. Do you like food, people? Yes. yes right. So, what's your yes. favorite type of food? Tacos? Oh. Tacos, yes. All right. Now that you mentioned tacos, what's your favorite taco restaurant? Donkeys. Yes, I agree with you. All right. So that's actually a nice place to eat tacos, right? Anybody else with a different type of food? What about pizza, hamburgers, or so on? Mm -hmm. China food. China, uh, Chinese food, all right. So what's your favorite Chinese food restaurant? You like China work or you like, um, what's another one? I don't remember now. Diamond of China? Diamond of China, is that in San Salvador? Yes. Oh, all right. So, yeah, interesting. All right. Anything else? What about hamburgers? Do you like hamburgers? Hello, people? Hamburgers? Yeah. What's your favorite hamburger restaurant? So, we have, like, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. All mm -hmm. right. Which is your yeah. favorite one? Well, let me make a pause right here, right? Sure. There are several yeah, issues. Options? Wendy, my burger, carne calle. Okay. Personally speaking, um, Andre, which is your favorite one? I don't know. Whatever. As long as it's a hamburger. Yeah. 
All right, great, excellent. And we talk about pizza. Oh my God, pizza, right? So what's your favorite pizza restaurant? So we have Papa John's, Domino's, uh, Pizza Hut, right? Little Caesar, why not, <laughs> right? So which is your favorite one? I, I love like Papa Pizza Italia. Pizza Italia? Yes, yes. All right, w w where is Pizza Italia from? Uh, it's in Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla, all right. Oh, is it the one at Paseo de Carmen? Near, near. Near, near, all right. Great, 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 all right. Anybody else? In Santa Ana City, Shimmerdown. Oh, that's a pizza restaurant. Yes. Okay, interesting, all right. Well, Let's start in, uh, let's read this um, information that we can see on the screen right now, all right? So what is a restaurant? So everybody knows that a restaurant, it's a place where you go and eat food, right? But we have a definition here that I want you to read. So it says right here, the word restaurant covers a broad range of food service operations. Let's review some vocabulary here together. And let me ask you, so what is broad range can you tell me what is this broad range do you know it hello hello what is broad range hello is the place exclusive? It's an exclusive place, you said? No. Yes. Okay. So we have an option, exclusive place. Anybody else? Uh-huh. Any other option? No? Five stars? Uh, all right. So it sounds like, like the previous option. Okay. All right. Excellent. So this is actually what it means. Check the chat. All right. So it says here, broad range. All right. It says like una amplia gama, right? Because a restaurant can be, for example, a fast food restaurant such as Burger King, Pizza Hut, or um, KFC, for example. Or we can have fancy restaurants or, you know, like um, more expensive restaurants, I will say, right? So like uh, Benny Hans or Tony Robbins, for example, right? So, but yeah, in both cases, they are actually restaurants. That's why it says like Amplia Gama, right? So that's why it says right here. Now, it covers... A broad range of food services restaurants. So, tiene una, o cubre una amplia gama de servicios de food. All right, so comida. Very good. And uh, let's learn a little bit more about this one, which says like the term comes from a French word. Oh, look at this one. It's a French word. All right, meaning restorer of energy. All right. What do you understand when you see this expression, restorer of energy? What does it come to your mind? ¿Qué se le viene a la mente? Como restablecer energía. energía. Right. So, como recuperar, restablecer energía, right? Which, normally, when you go to a restaurant, you feel sleepy after eating. You want to sleep, right? So, it's the opposite sometimes. All right. So, but let's see. In the mid seven, I mean, one... 1700s, it was known on, well, actually the 17th century, it was known as any public place that offers soup and bread, right? So today, it's a public place that specializes in the sale of prepared food or consumption on or off premise, all right? So, oops, this one right here, on or off premise, can you tell me what is it? On or off premise? Any idea? Enciende o apaga una premisa, ¿no? 
Dentro o fuera. Dentro o fuera. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. That's actually more accurate, right? So, which it means just like, for example, ya sea para comer ahí o fuera de ahí, right? Lo que nos lleva al siguiente, um, uh, the siguiente slide right here. So, I have a question for you. Do you know the difference between take out and delivery service? You know, here we have two questions. I mean, two words right here that I want you to see if you know it. So, it's like take out and delivery service. Do you know the difference between those? Mm -hmm. And in the first one, you can go for it. Mm -hmm. And the other, they um, take your food to your house. Oh, that's actually correct. All right. So, and if you can see this one right here in the image number one. All right. So, the image number one or the image number two. Which one is takeout and which one is delivery service? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? What is image number one? Takeout or delivery service? Delivery service. Delivery service, yes. Y tenemos al repartidor entregando la comida at home, right? So, and then we have number two, que sería takeout. So, nos están despachando la comida, but we are at the restaurant. So, yeah, that's basically the difference. So, good job, guys. Very good. So, now let's see here. And who can help me to read? Can me ayuda a leer? Who can help me reading this, please? I want to try to turn. All right, please go ahead and help me with delivery. Delivery means that the restaurant shop will bring the food to you. Usually you order delivery over the phone or internet. Thank you very much, right? So this is when you call, uh, you know, to the uh, restaurant and they deliver the food. Let's see if you remember this one. What restaurant has a promotion in El Salvador that they will deliver the food to you in 30 minutes or it's free. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Yes, exactly, right? Have you ever been so lucky and received a pizza for free? Never, teacher. Never, right? So, yes, they always give you an excuse, <laughs> right? So, but thank you. Let's see. Thank you uh, for helping me. That will now any other volunteer for the next part? Volunteer, volunteer. Teacher. <clears throat> Go ahead, Andre. Take out. I'm pleased that you are you are physically at the restaurant shop, but you will know it you put there. You will take it home and eat at home. All right, excellent. Thank you, my friend. That was actually a nice job. Just remember the pronunciation of this word. It's implies. Repeat it. Implies. Thank you very much. All right. So, which it means implies. take out. Right. So, take out implies that you are physically at the restaurant or the shop, but you will not eat your food there. You will take it home and eat it at home. Or it can be in a different place. For example, when you are working, you don't have too much time. So you go to the restaurant, you order the food, and then you go back to your job. All right. Uh, sure. Let's see here. Now, um, questions about vocabulary here? Yes, teacher. What is the meaning implies? Implies, implica. Okay. All right, so. Any other question about vocabulary? No, no, all right, awesome. So we can move forward here, all right? So let's see. Now let's see this one right here. Everybody, we are going to actually have a conversation time, all right? So remember that you can also use uh, your book, all right, to check this one, it's the first activity. All right, and we are going to have three questions to practice with one of your classmates, okay? So the first one right here, it's going to be this one, which is, 
question number one here. Okay, one second. This is the question number one. What is your favorite restaurant, all right? So let's see, what's your favorite restaurant? So you can talk about any restaurant you like. Pizza Hut, Papa John's, KFC, Tony Romans, uh, Benny Hands, um, and so on, right? So, and then we have the question number two right here. What makes this restaurant a special place? So, for example, one of my favorite restaurants, it's Pollo Campero. Why? Because, you know, it's a very traditional restaurant in our country. I have celebrated birth dates, um, you know, relatives' birth dates. And sometimes I have gone to go with there with my friends to have conversations, etc. Right. And what is more popular in your city? Takeout or delivery service? All right. So, for example, uh, because sometimes the delivery service doesn't go to your neighborhood. They said, no, it's not possible. So you have to come here to bring it. So we are going to have all these conversations here, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Vamos a ver aquí. We are going to create the breakup rooms. Vamos a empezar con los breakup rooms right now. All right. And uh, let's see. There you go. There you go. One second, please. Okay. There you go. Excellent. So you have received your request. So please, 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 please. Join the breakout room so we can practice with those three questions you have right there. Vamos a tener una pequeña conversación con your classmate. All right. So please join it. The two three questions. Thank you. Mm. There you go. Are you? Mr. Rivas, are you there? Hello, hello, Mr. Rivas. Carlos Rivas. Great. So let's go to number one. Okay. In the China, I like the Chinese food. Okay, what makes this restaurant a special place? Mm, the similar is, I don't know, uh, the common pollo campero. Okay, it's similar. Pardon? Uh, is similar to Pollo Campero? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, what is more popular in your city? Stay out the delivery service? In my city is a delivery service. Okay. Or is your question uh, or Marisa? Of course, Maritza, uh, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Burger King. Oh, what makes this restaurant as a special place? The burgers are delicious and the place is adequado. ¿Cómo sería? Adequate. 
Um, okay. What are you trying to say? Como adecuado o limpio? Nice would be? Nice. Okay. To go with family and friends. Ah, ok. También podrías decir, es the right place. Right. Yeah, the It's right. the right place okay. to go with family and friends. Yes. Ok, thank you. Ok. Uh, what is more popular in your city? Is delivery service. Ok. Thank you, Brit. And in... Ahora, solo somos um, nosotros. David. Yes. What is your favorite restaurant? Eh, my favorite restaurant is Pupusteria Chelly. What? Pupusteria Chelly. Uh, what is more popular in your city? Take, take okay. out or mm, delivery, delivery service? service. Okay. We finished, teacher. Great, no problem. So we will just go back to the main class so we can share the information. Te regresamos entonces a la, a la main session, all right? Okay. Okay. All right, excellent. So thank you guys. I was just checking some breakout rooms and I see you guys were um, practicing, right? So thank you for doing that. Now, I would like to hear uh, some answers right here. So do I have any volunteer to start with the answers right now? Question number one, what is your favorite restaurant? What makes it uh, the restaurant so a special place? And what's more popular in your city, takeout or delivery? All right, any volunteer? Hello, hello, volunteers, volunteers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ursula. So tell us, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is uh, Pollo Real. Okay. What makes this restaurant a special place for you? Mm, it's uh, because they have a different kind of food, like the bosas, a breakfast, many different kind of breakfast, breakfast, mm -hmm. and it's near to my home, and it's not too uh, and caro. I forgot the name. The, the expensive. The, the expensive. It's not too expensive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's right. And that's a very delicious food there, right? In that restaurant. Thank you very much. Any other volunteer? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Any other volunteer? Thank you, Guillermo. Please go ahead. Mm, what is the question? The number one or the number two? Well, actually, we got like the, the three ones. I mean, three questions, sorry. What's your favorite restaurant, Guillermo? Um, for me, uh, my favorite restaurant is La Taqueada. Okay. Mexican food? Yes. All right. And, and what, what makes this restaurant a special place? I think the, the taste of the food uh -huh. that they prepare uh -huh. It's amazing for me. It's amazing. Nice, nice, nice. All right. And, and, and in your city, what's uh, more common, like takeout or delivery? Delivery. Delivery. All right. So very good. Thank you for sharing your answers. You did a very good job. All right. Anybody else, please? Volunteer, volunteer. Thank you, Giovanni. Go ahead, please. 
Okay. Okay, tell us, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Simmer Down and Restaurant La Abuela, <laughs> Ataco City. La Abuela en Ataco City. Yes. Okay, excellent. So, what makes this restaurant a special place for you? Um, como se dice... Es que the view, no sé cómo se pronuncia la vista. Si es view. the view, you uh -huh. view. Ah, pues sí. the view next to the restaurant is the cathedral. Cathedral. Okay. En restaurant, la abuela, eh, el hay, el hay, eh, the weather. Yes, it's true. The weather is cold, right? Yeah. Nice, nice. Yes, a very good option. And, uh, well, talking about your city, I remember you said you live in El Congo, right? Yeah. All in right. Congo. So, in your city, what is more common, takeout or delivery? Oh, uh, it's more popular takeout. Take takeout. Why? Es por cuestión de costo, no sé cómo. All right. You can say it's, it's cheaper. It's okay. cheaper. Más barato. Exactly. Thank you. All right, Thank you're you. welcome. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, uh, another volunteer, please. So we can listen to your answers. Another volunteer, please. Who's my volunteer? My teacher. Thank you. That was Mr. Pardo, right? Uh, my favorite restaurant is Tony Roma's. Okay. And, and what makes this restaurant a special place for you? The... Sería como Zona Rosa, pero sería, no sé cómo podríamos decir Zona Rosa. Zona Rosa, it's the name of the place, so it doesn't change. Okay. De Zona Rosa. And, and a special place prepare uh, delicious short ribs. Oh, yes, that's true. That's true. All right. And uh, so you live in San Salvador, Mr. Pardo? Yes, teacher. All right. What's more popular in San Salvador, takeout or delivery? Delivery. Delivery. Yes, it's true. It's true. Thank you very much for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. We are looking for two volunteers more so we can finish with this activity. Who's going to be the next one? All right. All right. What about, let's see here. Will and Noe. Come on, Noe. You haven't participated. Tell me, Noe. I go for you. All right. What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, my fa my favorite restaurant is uh, Monterrey. Okay. Is is food Mexican food? Mexican food. All right. And and what makes this uh, restaurant a special place for you? Uh, the the good service. Mm, that's important. Good service. Very good. In uh, in your city. It's more common takeout or delivery service? Uh, delivery service. Delivery service. All right. Great. Excellent. Thank you for sharing your answers. You did good. All right. We go with the last one right now. So it's going to be Will. Hello, Will. Hello, teacher. So tell me, what's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Pollo Campero. Okay. Tell me why. Uh, the place in which it is located makes it special for me because it's near from my house. Mm -hmm. And uh, the type of food, the different, uh, the, the menu, they have chicken, uh, salads, french fries, 
pizza, hamburgers. All right, yes. Uh, all right, and in your city, it's more common uh, to have takeout or delivery service? And delivery service, of course. Delivery service, all right, very good, excellent, thank you. Just one observation, we'll remember when you're using the word near, you don't need to use to. So for example, near my house, near my house, for example, or unless you use close to, in that case, yes. You can say this one, near my house. close to, okay. all right, my house. All right, okay, so this you, is actually teacher. how you use it. When you use near, not to. When you use close, yes, you have to use to. All right? Right. Okay, thank, thank you, you, my friend. That was a really nice job. All right, so now let's see what happens right here. This one, we continue with the at uh, the same page, the page number nine, the final round from your book. And we're going to practice this conversation we have here. All right? So it says here, Luigi has a pizza restaurant but he wants to have more customers. Read the conversation, complete the statements below, all right? So we are going to actually work on this one. So we're gonna practice here the conversation, all right? So let's see. Um, Ursula, can you be Carla in the conversation? And uh, okay. Daniel, can you be Luigi? Yes, sir. Excellent, so please go ahead. Okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Really? I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables, and we have to hire a person to make delivery. No, no. The secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers, and we don't receive takeout orders, so let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce that will be the new specialty in the house. Specialty of the house, right? Thank you guys, you did a very good job. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That was actually super good. I like the way you were reading, congratulations Ursula and Daniel, you were doing a very good job there. All right, so now, uh, let's set this one right here. What are you going to do? So we have actually to work on those. Uh, oops, one second here. All right, excellent. So we have to work on some other exercises right here, which are part of your book. All right, so it's this one we have right here. On your book. So ladies and gentlemen, we are going to check this one right here. Let me know if you can see the new screen. Can you? Yes, we can. Yes, all right, excellent. So now we are going to work on the next activities right here, which are those activities I'm just closing right here in this square, right? You are going to, um, you know, fill in the blanks with the um, uh, information that you see on the conversation. And also here, you have to match so in this one, you must actually add the number, the number that you can see here, this one, and you have to actually write it uh, here in one of those uh, spaces right here that best actually help you with the definition. So number one, tenemos que completar la frase, right? Complete the phrase here based on the information that we read on the previous reserve, on the previous paragraph, right? And here we have to move the numbers from here to one of those spaces to complete this one. We are going to continue working in couples to complete this one. So we are going to go back to the breakout rooms so we can actually um, complete this information. Antes de enviar a los breakout rooms, before I send you to the breakout rooms, do you have any questions? Did you understand what you have to do? Yes, understand. Okay, great. So everybody, Let's go to the breakout rooms right now.
Fisher. Yes. Eh, si alguien tomaría screenshot para que nos envíe el. Sure, no problem. Let me let me remove um all those things so you can take a a okay. screenshot and you can have a make it bigger a little bit here. One sec. Is it better for you? Bigger, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's join the groups, please. Better, sí. better, better, better than pepperoni. Better than pepperoni. Okay. Espérate, lo voy a anotar porque como no tengo screenshot, eh, no lo puedo escribir. Better than pepperoni. I can send a screenshot to the group. Um, eh, estoy compartiendo con la computadora y no tengo el WhatsApp abierto ahí. Oh, no, here in the, in the chat, here in the... Um... Um, Zoom. Chat in the Zoom. Yeah. Mm. One second. Okay, here it is. And the, the question number two, the restaurant next door is, is bigger that Bigger than or Fisheria. I shared the, the, the screenshot in the chat in if you need Zoom. it. Okay. And... Para compartir again, como haría? You try to open that one. You can download it. Or you can use actually, um if you're sharing the screen, you so, can use the you can use the options for um notes, I guess it is. Or when you can like yeah, that one. Is that there is an option in Zoom that is annotaciones, I guess it is. In Zoom. Oops. No sé, no sé dónde está. Ahí donde estás compartiendo pantalla, debería haber una opción. Este. Que okay, creo que dice annotate or anything ah, like Ah, sí, 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 annotate. All right. Okay. Aquí Ahí you can add the text. Text. Uh -huh. Aquí podemos escribir. Ah, ok. Yeah. Ok. It better. Pero aquí es it solo verde. Ah, no. Verdad. Then, ajá. Uh -huh. Algo así. Better than. <laughs> yeah. In the second, the that restaurant next door is bigger, bigger than. than. Number three, they have a more beautiful. More beautiful decoration than yes. this place. More beautiful.
Uno de decoration, ya, ya está, eso ya está. Decoration ya. Sí. O solo eso. Sí, Por hasta beautiful. Hey, pay attention on cómo se escribe decoration ahí. Decorations. Ok. This decoration da faltó dan dan uh -huh. para ser más pequeña la letra sabes qué porque se va muy grande pero bueno algo así va y para bajar ya no puedo So you finished those three, all right? Very good. Yes. Awesome. Finish. Okay, I will go to a different room. If you have questions, you can call me, okay? Okay. All right. Bye. Pay attention. Espera, de que no puedo eliminar esto. Erase, 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 erase. Ahí está. Es que eh, no, no compartí la inscripción. Yo estoy compartiendo la pantalla de, de, de Chrome. Uh -huh. Va, en el otro Zoom tal vez lo puedo compartir aquí. ¿no? Person to make deliveries. No, no. The secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Ursula. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Very okay. cool. <laughs> We are amazing. Yes. Absolutely. Couldn't agree. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. So we you guys finished? finished. Yes. Yes, teacher. We, we have finished. Oh, my God. So you were flying. <laughs> All right. So great, great, great. Let's see here. Better than, bigger than, more beautiful decoration than, speciality. Uh -huh. Buffet, yes, three, to make a reservation, yeah, take out, uh -huh. package meal, you can eat away from the restaurant, and buffet, I'm sorry, delivery, you can, uh, perfect, everything is correct, you got a 10. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. Thank good you. job, good job, good job, there you go. Okay. So you can continue practicing the paragraph. In the meantime, I will just go to one more room to check and then we will finish, okay? Okay, okay. thank you, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ursula, can you start again? Yes. Okay, maybe go ahead. We, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. Hello, hello, you finished? Hello, hello, you finished? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, excellent. Questions about vocabulary or any exercise? No question? No, teacher. No question. Okay, very good. Excellent. So let's see. Let's just go back to the main session right now so we can share our answers, all right? Okay, so we are just going to wait for everybody else. 
They will be here in a couple of seconds. Let's see. Okay, welcome back everybody else. Thank you very much for participating in the activity. So here I am waiting for you to help me and finishing the answers for this exercise we have right here. Okay, do we have any volunteer for the question number one, the one we have right here? Delivery. This one, uh, I'm sorry, the, in the, in the exercise number three. So this one. Um, sorry. No problem. Can you help me to complete that one, Edwin? Wow. No, solo trabaja el cuadrito. Oh my God, Edwin. Okay. The number Let's one. Let's work it here. All right. Oh, David. Tell me, David, what's the answer? Number one. Yeah. It is better than pepperoni. It's better than paper. Than. I guess it's, that's enough. All right. Better than. There you go. And numbers. The second. The second one. Okay. The, second, the restaurant next door is uh, bigger than our pizzeria. It's bigger than our pizzeria. Very good. Excellent. Better than our city, bigger than our city. Yeah. And number three. They have more beautiful decoration than display. More beauty. Vamos a abreviar. More beautiful decorations. Than display. Than this place. This is right here. Oops. than this place. Excellent. Thank you, my friends. That was basically in the paragraph, right? So it was easier for you to identify it. Now, yes. Okay. It's your turn. Um, Who was it? Who was the one? Edwin. Okay. A speciality. All right. So tell me, what is it? Mm -hmm. The number one. For the exercise number four. Delivery. You come. Uh, oh, delivery number five. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so. What is it? Delivery. Uh huh. You come. Uh, you come call a restaurant. Order food and they take uh it to your home. Into your home. So yeah, basically here you're saying that this is going to be number five, right? Yes. Thank you. So we have number five right there. So thank you, thank you. What about a uh, another one? Volunteer, volunteer. Number three. Number three, Noe. <laughs> tell me. Uh, Number three, to make a reservation at a restaurant. Thank you very much. To make a reservation at a restaurant. All right. Thank you. And next one, next one. Take out. Go ahead. Take out a package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. What number is that? The number four. Number four, take out. All right. Yes, thank you. All right, so what's next? Two, number two. Number two, can you read it? Buffet, what is it? Different um, dishes places in, in a public area where people serve themselves. Thank you, and obviously here we have the last one. Finally, what is it? I need just a volunteer for reading this section here, all right? Number one. Uh-huh. What is you, it? You can call a, um, a restaurant, order food, and they take it to your home. 
Number one, you said is this one. This is number one for you. Uh, uh no, I sorry. Uh, Adish. Uh, um, uh, sorry. Don't worry. Uh, a dish de, that is extremely a speciality. A dish de, that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Exactly. Thank you very much. Right. So you did wonderfully. All right. Everybody, do you have any questions uh, about these exercises, vocabulary, or anything mm. that is not clear? Yeah, teacher. I have Go a ahead. question. But what say the book a table to book a table is como libro mes li, como libro. All book right, excellent. That's a nice observation, right? So Daniel, the word book, yeah, it's actually libro. You're right on that one, right? So, but book is also a verb and it's a synonym of reserve. So to make a reservation. So when you said like book a table. You can also say, for example, book a hotel room, right? Book a hotel room to say like you make a reservation. You make a reservation. Like this. So it's basically a synonym of make a reservation. Is that clear, Daniel? Yeah, it's your dad. Yes. Remember, guys, that la, la palabra va a depender eh, su significado del contexto, right? So, si dice, for example, I read a book every day, ahí sería libro o reservación. Libro. Right, libro. exactly. All right. So, my mother book a hotel room, ¿qué sería ahí? Reservation. Exactly, to make a reservation. So, it depends on the context. Yes. All right, excellent. Any other questions? No, the chair. No, no, no. Right. Yes. Self, themselves. Eh, ¿Qué significa? Eh, where, where, where? I'm sorry. Eh, themselves. Eh, in the, in the cuarto párrafo, cuando dice diferentes en la respuesta dos. Uh, 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 Number two, this one. Themselves. That one. Yes. Ellos mismos. Thank you. You're welcome. Ellos o ellas mismos. So you have it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. So any other question, people, you might have so I can help you? No, no more questions. All right, no problem. So let's just stop right here. And let's just go back to the presentation. Okay, excellent. So, well, let's just review the grammar topic for tonight, which is about the comparatives. As you were able to see, for example, in the press, in the reading section, we were talking about, for example, the expression where it says, Cheese is better than pepperoni. How do you understand that into Spanish? Uh huh. Yes. Antes del pepperoni. Uh, no. Es mejor el queso que el pepperoni. Yeah, that's correct. Right. So the word better it's actually something uh, that says we are comparing, right? And that's what we're going to be. Checking today. En su libro hay una parte eh, que explica eh, los comparatives, right? Eh, but I like this one because it, it shows you exactly dónde o cuándo va a salir eh, el, el, el spelling, right? So si se le va a agregar solamente ER, una R, duplicamos alguna letra, o so cambiamos otra, o agregamos palabras, o tenemos some exceptions, right? So I prefer this one right here, all right? So, uh, once again, we are going to verify this one right now. So, let's talk about this one. What is a comparative? A comparative is a word that we are going to use, obviously, to compare, 
right? Two or more, or two things, basically. Más que todo dos cosas, all right? So, uno de los más comunes to say this one, que actually es una excepción, it's the word better, the ones you can see right here. So, eh, can you see this word? Yes, the word better. What's the meaning of the word better in Spanish? Mejor. Mejor, right? Very good. So we compare, for example, eh, dependiendo del gusto, Real Madrid is better than Barcelona, or Barcelona is better than Real Madrid. Ahí depende, yeah. right? So yes, yes, yes. I, I don't want problems. I'm just giving the two options, okay? So, and then it says, all right? But people, we are not going to say, for example, in Spanish, el Real Madrid es más mejor o el Barcelona es más mejor because that's not correct, right? So, la palabra better ya significa un comparativo, which is mejor que. All right, so just to say an example. Pero no todas las palabras, eh, um, los adjetivos tienen comparativos así de easy. So, we go for some others that we need to learn how it goes. La regla general, the general rule tell us, tells us, right, actually, that uh, whenever we have here one syllable, adjective, so we normally add here ER. So, for example, if we had right here fast, all right, so then we go here and have faster. And what's the difference? So, the adjective here is fast, which it means rápido, right? So, but then we are comparing and by adding the letter ER right here, we are saying más rápido. We don't need to add more, all right? So, because para eso le agregamos la ER. So, we only add ER. So, we said like fast, faster, all right? So, super important here, you know, aparece en an en image, but it's necessary. We need to add at the end here the word then, which in this case is going to be better to say here, for example, más rápido que. All right, so for example, how do you say in English? Let's use the chat, the chat, the chat. How do you say in English, right? El conejo es más rápido que la tortuga. How do you say that in English? El conejo es más rápido. The bunny is faster than the turtle. All right, very good. We can say rabbit too. All right, so let's see. Thank you, Will. Anybody else? Hmm. Ahí en, la, en, el, en el exercise, en el sentence de, de, de Will, hay un pequeñito error. Who can tell me what is it? The word then. The word then, exactly. Usted me lo puso ahí that, and it's supposed to be then with N at the end, all right? But thank you. That was a good example. So we can say this one, all right? So, luego aquí, people, remember, the rabbit is faster than the turtle. Thank you, Andre. That's actually correct. That's the correct answer there. All right. So we're coming back to this one. So we can see here, for example, we have John and then we have Jonger. All right. Remember that this is just one syllable. John. ¿Por qué? Porque hay un diptongo, right? So this is una sola palabra. John. All right. So, y esa es la regla general. So when the uh, adjective has only one syllable, we add ER. Y ese ER ya significa más, right? Um, for example, here, let's see, the next one, tenemos otra regla. How many syllables does it say here, people? This one? How many syllables does it say? One syllable. One, one syllable, correct, exactly, all right? So, but, super important here, ending in? E. E. In E, exactly, in letter E, all right? So, one syllable ending in E. So, we cannot duplicate the letter E, all right? So, for example, here, if we have nice, so we only add here the letter R. 
So we can have here nicer, right? It's not necessary to add ER como en el anterior. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tengo la E. All right, so I already have the E there. All right, so I just add the R. All right, so it's, I have strange, so stranger, All right? For example, ¿estamos clear aquí en esta, en esta rule, second rule? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, sir. So, vamos again with how many syllables according to this one? This the rule number three? One syllable. One syllable, all right? Pero tenemos una very uh, special combination here. Tenemos una consonant, una vowel, una short vowel, and a consonant. Como en la palabra big o en la palabra hot. Which it says like consonante, vocal, consonante, consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant. So in those cases, according to this one, we are going to double the last consonant. So for example, if you pay attention right here, the last consonant in big, oops, the last consonant in big is the letter G. So we duplicate this one right here, and then we add the ER. So we go from big to bigger, right? Or we go from hot to hotter here. So for example, yeah, the people who live in San Miguel, oh my God, how do you say San Miguel es más caliente que San Salvador? San Miguel es más caliente que San Salvador. How do you say that? In English, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. San Miguel is hotter than San Salvador. That is correct, actually. So super nice. Thank you. All right. So that's actually what it says right here. All right. Um. Okay. Vamos aquí. Questions with the first three rules. No question. No question. Clear. Good. Excellent. Fijate, pay attention in this one right here. We go with the rule number four, which is this one right here. Now we are talking about how many syllables? Two syllables. Two syllables, very good. But two syllables when the word ends in the letter? Y. Y. Exactly, thank you. So what happens in that case? So we have to eliminate, remove the letter Y, and then we are going to we are going to add I E R. So we go from happy to happier. We go from crazy to crazier. All right. So, um, mm -hmm. how do you say, for example, mi hermano está más loco que mi primo? My sister, they are happier for my. No, uh, uh, remember, mi hermano está más loco que mi primo. Hermano. Brother. Exactly. So, can you repeat it one more time? My brother, they are uh, happier. My the brother. Play. Let's remember it. Cuckoo. Crazier. Crazier, yes. My brother is crazier than my. Cousin. Cousin, thank you very much. All right. So we are just doing that right there. Very good. And tenses. All right. So questions about this rule? No question. No questions. All right. So let's just go ahead and check this one right here. So the last one, it says right here, two or more syllables, right? Yeah. Exactly. What well, the difference between this rule and the previous one is que en anterior. Las palabras terminaban con Y, right? Entonces, ahí había que quitar la Y, add I-E-R. Pero ahora tenemos two or more syllables. So, la regla general says, the general rule says, that when I have two or more syllables, I have to add the word more. More, more, more. So, for example, we have famous, beautiful, three syllables. More famous or more beautiful, all right? Um, so let's see. For example, how do you say la tenchis es más famosa que la yajaira, for example? Mm -hmm. 
How do you say that? Is, is more famous than La Yajaira? There you go. Exactly. That is correct. Correct, 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 correct. All right. So thank you. So that's actually what happens right there. All right. So, y la última regla que tenemos que son unas common expressions or exceptions. I'm sorry. ¿Qué son estas exceptions y por qué son exceptions? Porque no siguen ninguna de las reglas anteriores. They don't follow any of the previous rules. All right. So, su conjugación, let's say, it's completely different. So, vamos del adjetivo bueno. So, like, for example, bueno, when. All right. So, we go, for example, just to give an example. Vaya, no me vayan a enojar. Don't get mad. Just to give an example, Cristiano Ronaldo, que por cierto ganó hoy. All right, so, um, es un buen jugador, un buen jugador. So, decimos, Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7, is a good player. Yeah, so we said this one, ese es el adjetivo good. But if we want to say, for example, vamos a compararlo, right? So, CR7. It's better than Messi. Yes. Okay. Va, ahí tenemos. No, no decimos más mejor, ¿verdad? So we don't say more good. No, we said like better, which means mejor. All right? So like that. Esta, it's an example, people. Le podemos dar vuelta, no problem. All right? So questions? It's perfect example, teacher. Okay, la vamos a dar vuelta. All right, so we're going to switch it. So we're going to have here. All right. Messi is better than Cocolito. There you go. Va. So everybody's happy now. It's better now? Yes. Okay. Great. Excellent. So, did you understand that part, people? Yes. It yes, is. teacher. It's yeah. clear. Yes. Are you sure? Hey. Oh, thank you for the person who reacted to the Cristiano Ronaldo example, Nuria. Good. All right. So, let's see. Um. Any questions about the rules? Something that is not clear, so I can explain it again. No questions? No question, please. But if you don't have questions for me, I have questions for you, right? Let's see. So let's hear. Now we have some exercises, all right? So, ese exercise, que es el número seis, está en su libro. Este de aquí uh, is in your book. Oh, excuse me. My bad, my bad, my bad, sorry. Okay, one second. There we go. Okay, this one right here, the number six, it's on your book. This one right here, ese es, a, ese es just on the presentation, all right? So I can send a screenshot right now. Vamos a ver here. So you can see this in the WhatsApp group. I mean, I don't have the WhatsApp group yet. Sorry. Here in Zoom, I can send this. One second. Okay, so you can have it there. Okay, excellent. I just shared that in the WhatsApp group and then the other one you can see it on your book. So basically pay attention people because you have the adjectives here in, in parentheses, right? So for example, we have all, large, fast, nice, good, big, pretty, good again, tall, clean. In, in the next exercise, you have convenient, cheap, romantic, complete, fast, and appealing. All right. So we have all those um, adjectives there. So you need to you need to actually use it correctly. So for example, we have this one right here, the number one, which is old. What's the comparative here for number one? Older. So we'll be like older all there so you do that one and that's it and that's what you have to do with the rest of them is that clear yes it is 
Yes. yes? Okay, excellent. So let's go back again to the breakout rooms so we can uh, complete the exercise right now. Join the rooms, please, so we can work in couples. David, Carlos, do you have any problem with the rooms? Mori con convenient. Hello, hello. Questions? Um, acá en la número uno. Yeah. O sea que lo que vamos a, a utilizar es, es más vieja. Que <laughs> hoy. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, we're going to actually use the comparatives. Es decir, más viejo o los que están ahí, which in this case is like más eh, grande, más rápido, más chivo, right, so etc., right? Está bien. Let's let's work on the first one. On the second one, bueno, el primero ya lo hicimos. The number two, ¿cómo quedaría? Mm. According to the rules. My house is mm -hmm. Mm Hello. <laughs> Estoy haciendo la oración. Okay. Um, but do not use the Google Translator, huh? Pero más, o sea, el más eh, como, como no sería my house. Is more large. No. No. Let's let me ask you something. ¿Cuántas sílabas? How many syllables are um in the word large? Two. Are you sure? Mm. You sure you sure? Yes. 
Te lo está leyendo en English or Spanish? Porque en Spanish tiene dos. Large. Right? But in English, how do you pronounce it? Large. Large. ¿Cuántas sílabas hay ahí? Large. It's just one. Large. One. Large. Mm -hmm. All right. So, it what happens when tenemos solo one syllable? Agregamos una R. ¿Agregamos una? R. R. ¿Por qué solo la R y no ER? Porque termina en la E. That is correct, pero no lleva more, right? Yes. Yeah. No Entonces, lleva so more. My house sí? is larger than hers. Exactly. Ahí estamos. Mm -hmm. Questions, questions. Entonces quedaría la oración. My house is larger than hers. My house is larger than hers. Exactly. Entonces con la tercera sucede lo mismo porque fast. Yo siento que solo tiene una sílaba. Correct. That's correct. Questions, questions. Entonces solo vamos a agregarle las letras que le agregamos y ya. Y ya. Uh -huh. Vamos a determinar cuántas sílabas tiene y agregarle la letra que le hace falta. Correcto. O Entonces, si le hace falta, por ejemplo, usar more. Ok. Uh -huh. Que more en español sería más. Es correcto. Pero es para cuando tenemos los adjetivos de más de dos sílabas. Right? Ok. Uh -huh. So I will go to a different um, room. So if you have questions, so please uh, call me, all right? Okay. More cheaper the one from Starbucks. More cheaper. It's more cheaper. Uh -huh. See, sí, cheaper. No, quiero ver, sí. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, no, es solo cheaper. Espérate, quiero ver. Yeah. Yeah. Cheaper. It's cheaper. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's Dos sílabas. What does teacher guess very used? Bebidas. Bebidas. Mm -hmm. It's more cheap. Estaba mal escrito, era. Cheap. Okay. Así. Are you sure? <laughs> no sure. How many syllables does the word chip have? Chip. How many syllables? ¿Cómo se pronuncia la palabra? 
Chip. 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 ¿Cuántas sílabas hay ahí? A pronunciar. One chip. How Dos. many? Chip. Chip. ¿Cuántas hay? Una. Entonces. Sería. So. Chip. Chip. Correct, exactly, right? Only shipper, so, only shipper. No. Correct, right? So, no. remember, que son así como, like, uh, no es como lo diríamos en español, right? Que sería che up. Ahí sí la dividimos en dos syllables. But this is in uh, English, so we pronounce it. So, we go for the cheaper, ya con el comparativo, cheaper. Ah, uh, sí, 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 ya, ya. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good, very good. Excellent. El, um, Es como que era, es más, sí, entendí. Brian's okay. restaurant are, is more romantic. Romantic. Para more food restaurants. More. more romantic. More romantic. More romantic. Ajá, porque ahí el, el adjetivo es. Longer. ¿Cuántas sílabas hay en romantic? Un montón. Un montón. Sí. <laughs> so a lot. Romantic. So a lot. Romantic. The book. Sí. The book. At me. More complete. Is... Complete. More. more. Complete. Mm -hmm. Mira que no, no he hallado cómo hacer más chiquita la letra. Oh. No sé. Their service is faster. 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 The restaurant we, we went to. Okay. I will visit somebody else and then we will finish, all right? Thank yes. you for participating. That's good. Okay. The ambience and James it's more, kitchen is is more is more appealing. More okay. Up. Y empezaron sin nosotros. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh -huh. You finished? Yeah. Okay, very good. So I was just checking. So we are going to uh, close this room so we can continue in the main class. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back. So we are just waiting for the rest to join the class. There you go. So we have Jill, Catherine, Miguel. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we will see here. Okay. Perfect, everybody's back. All right, so let's just continue right now. So, well... Everybody, volunteer for the number two, my house. My house is, what's the correct one there? Larger than hers. Larger than, very good. Than hers, exactly, thank you. What about number three, volunteer for number three? My dog roamed faster than, than you. 
All right, very good. Faster, excellent. Number four. What are nicer than dogs? Cats are nicer than that. Nicer. Excellent. Good job. Okay, number five. Birds are better. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. What about number six? Yeah. Uh-huh, David. Pues is bigger than Australia. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Pardo, what was it? The U.S. is bigger than Australia. How do you spell bigger, Mr. Pardo? Okay, V-I-G-G-E-R. E-R, all right. E-R, sorry. No problem, good job. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so in, let's say this one, number seven. Number June seven, is number seven. prettier than May. June is? Prettier. Prettier, all right. How do you spell prettier? Prettier, okay. Uh, P-R-E-T-T-I-E-R. -T -T -E Yay, that's correct. Very good, very good. What about good? Better. 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 Very good. One second. There you go. What about number nine? Taller. Taller. Very good. And what about number 10? Cleaner. 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 Amazing. So you guys are doing an amazing job. Super, super, super nice. Okay. But now I want you to like not only tell me better, taller, prettier, cleaner, right? I want you to read the complete sentence. All right. So let's see. Nuria, can you help me with number eight? Read it complete. Okay. Um, I think Jurassic Park was the better film ever. Okay. What about number nine? Um, Mount Everest is taller than Mount Abu. Mm -hmm. And Noe, the last one? Okay, bleep, bleep, teacher. Mount Everest? Oh no, number ten. My room. Uh, my my room is cleaner than your room. Than your room, exactly. Thank you very much. Okay, excellent. So, guys, Be I sure. have an observation for you. Uh huh. Uh, I just have a question in the Tell number me. number eight. Yes. Is a comparative or a superlative? It is a superlative. Thank you for the observation. So it is Will. Better. Exactly. All right. So, estaba a punto de like explain that one. All right. So, I was going to ask you, ¿qué tiene de diferente la number eight? Que no tiene la number eight que las otras sí tienen, for example. Mm -hmm. Le, I will help you with this yeah. one. Number one. Then. 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 then, then. All right. Then. Then, 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 and then. Hay dos, they will have two que no tienen ese then. Entonces, ¿qué sería, Will? Superlative. Superlatives, which is this one right here. ¿Y qué es un superlative? Cuando, yes, eh, resaltamos, right, lo mejor dentro de una comparación. So, for example, in this one sería best. Igual que aquí sería best. All right. El mejor, los, los mejores programas de televisión y las mejores películas. So, yes. De ahí todo lo demás, actually, is comparative. So, very good job. Excellent. And thank you for the observation, right? 
So let's see, let's see. Now, and when it comes to the number six, the exercise number six. Number one, it says delivery is more convenient than takeout. Convenient, it's the adjective. What about number two? The adjective is cheap. Volunteer? The birds are cheaper. The one from Starbucks. Very good. Excellent. So we go with the word cheaper. Cheaper, cheaper. Very good. And what about number? Um, oh, I forgot to add something right here. One second. Okay. So it's going to be here. Cheaper than. Yes. Okay. Cheaper than. Very good. And the rest? Number three? A French restaurant are mm -hmm. more romantic than more fast food restaurants. Romantic than. Yes, it says like more romantic because it has three syllables. Romantic. Very good job. Excellent. So what about uh, the next one? Can someone tell me? Mm -hmm. The buffet at Ming Li's restaurant is more complete than Chin's. Than Chin's. Yes, that is correct. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent. And uh, let's see. So it's more complete. Okay. We have this one. Thanks. This one. More complete. There you go. Number five. What about number five? The survey is faster. The restaurant we went to last week. Faster. Then. Very good. And the last one. What is it? The ambience in Javi's kitchen is more appealing than the food they sell. Than the food they sell. Very good. So one more time, please. The, the ambience uh -huh. in Javi's kitchen is more appealing than the food they sell. Than the food they send. All right. Let's see this one right here. Very good. Excellent. So I'm just like, what happens here? Right. It's just like more appealing. And what is appealing, people? Teacher. Okay, yeah. Question. Yeah. Uh, teacher, the four in, is incomplete. No, it's more complete than. Oh, yes. Then, of course. Yeah, you're right. I forgot the done in that one. I won't forget it here. All right. So, yeah, actually, I'm going to write it here. Fine. Thank you. Thank you for the observation right here. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much on this one. So, guys, do you have any question regarding this? No question. question. No questions? No. No, no questions? Okay. No. Excellent. So, thank you then. Before you leave, I'm going to check attendance here, people. All right. So, we're going to just check it here. Uh, Andre Pardo. Present teacher. There you go. Excellent. So one second here. So how do you take this one? One quick second. There you go. Okay. So Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. All right. David Emanuel Custodio. Present, teacher. Edwin Esaú Galdames. Here, teacher. Evelyn Jamilet Molina. Evelyn Jamilet Molina. No, here. All right. Eh, Jill Yvonne Mejibar. Present. Thank you. All right, Guillermo Eduardo Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you. 
All right, Henry, Giovanni, Rivas. Yes. Present teacher. All right. Juan Eduardo Flores. Not here. All right. Catherine Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Maria Jesus Martinez. Here. All right. Maritza Martinez. Present. Miguel Angel Santos. Present teacher. All right. Noé Gustavo. Present teacher. Nuria Aviles. Present. Reina Garcia. Present. Thank you. Sonia Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you. Ursula Gómez. Present teacher. And Wilfredo Luna. Present. Thank you. All right, everybody else, thank you very much for um, uh, attending the class. So I hope you have learned uh, something new today, right? So, and I will wait for you tomorrow with new exercises, new topic, new activities, right? Nice to meet you, everybody. Thank you for joining the class. Have a good night. Good night, Bye. teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Mr. Pardo. Good, Good night, teacher. my friend. Good night, teacher. See you later. See you tomorrow. Bye, take care. See you tomorrow.